Hello, our dear sweet light family. It is me, Lisa Tunson. and it's brown. And I'm going to do another video today. Sorry for the lighting. I'm doing the best I can. Um, but thought you'd like the mountain and the exquisiteness up here. Okay, so this video is going to be about the bipolar effect and the Sybil effect. And each one is different, but it's important to understand when we start going through becoming multidimensional, and we're always going through this process, um, there are many ways that we experience uh, this journey. Beauty is, every moment is a part of this. Um, when we start to completely move beyond the veils, that we held in place by our human mind we start to see how everything works and it is quite exquisite and brilliant how we programmed these realities here now when you can start to see your own program everything makes a whole lot of sense but until that time it is completely confusing and trying is an understatement now bipolar effect this is the one day we're up next day we're down all over the place polarity by polar by to polar literally now this is duality this is extreme duality uh, one minute we um, are one way next minute we flip-flop, gone the other direction completely. Um, we feel quite crazy when we're going through this. It kind of is the point. Um, we question our sanity. One is our head, the other is our heart. The dualistic battle uh, that goes on inside of us. When we listen to our head, we get one answer. When we listen to our heart, we get another. Heart, totally happy. Head gets in the way, totally screws it up. We create boxes, we create scenarios, we create all kinds of chaos up there. Now technically, it is just a transmission from what's inside our physical body. When we start to understand and listen to what's going on, we start to see inner vision. We see, it's beautiful. Now, then we have multidimensionality. All our versions waking up. We're angels. We're guides. We're everything. We're fairies. We're mermaids. You name it. We're all kinds of things. But, we're angels. And when we're human, we're the devil. We got all kinds of stuff going on. Now, when we're really human, I used to call it my Sybil effect, my multiple personalities. I was all over the place. I didn't know what was going on with me. I had stuff coming up everywhere. It's kind of the point. Because when it's time to wake up, all of our impurities, all of our lack, all of our what's wrong with me and we set out trying to fix ourselves. it's all coming up it's all coming up there is no hanging on to anything now technically the more human we are the more multiple personalities if you will that we have but as we purify, as we cleanse, as we let go of all the dysfunction that was in our body, in our mind, all those emotions we held onto that we pent up, all those beliefs we had, all those things we created to suffer to in our world, as we let go, those multiple versions of us become aspects. You have a higher self aspect, you have a lower self aspect, the human. You have your angelic you, your angel you. You have many versions of you, and you will move between them 
in any given moment you'll have a galactic mini galactic use you can have the mermaid you you can have all kinds of views coming up and this is what this is if it makes you happy you'll honor it yes wide open beautiful free the moment something doesn't make you happy you're like nope not anymore you will still be all over the place uh, for a while if things are out of alignment and need to be aligned you will be all over the place because it's our job to get into alignment it's our job to say no it's our job to come from honor it's our job to learn to love ourselves again. It's our job to let go of the chaos, to stop fighting. There, we have many uh, jobs here, many purposes, many things to do. Being in service is upgrading our light. Being in service is embodiment as our higher self aspect here. Being in service is many things. It's whatever you deem it feels appropriate for you. That's the beauty of this. You can do anything you want to. All we have to do is come from honor. All we have to do is find ourselves again. That's the hard part. We don't know who we are. We start to wake up. Everything changes. All these different aspects start to surface. We're all over the place. But, along the way, we find ourselves. It becomes a beautiful experience. All the confusion goes. The battles go. We stop fighting. We don't need to. Those multiple versions of you will merge as one. You won't compromise anymore. You become very powerful. Again, power. Beautiful power inside of you. We are magnificent, powerful beings. But not without going through a whole lot of messed up, dysfunctional stuff along the way. Judgment's got to go. We hold a lot of judgment. We judge ourselves. We judge others. We look at everything. We create all these opinions. We create scenarios. All kinds of stuff we do as humans. Our job is to look at ourselves and see what's human about us. Wow, right now I'm really human. Right now I'm coming from lack. Right now I don't love myself enough. Right now I forgot about respect. That outside world, our creation, we created it. Our job is to understand our program. Our job is many things. We call forth the lucid dream. We call forth the higher realms. We call forth all the magnificence that's waiting for us. I was doing a video earlier. Our job is to master the moment. Master the moment. When you can master the moment, when you are so in tune with everything. This moment right here, this is all that exists. Nothing else. Nothing else matters. Everything is about the energy of. What energy are you transmitting right now? Are you transmitting love? Are you transmitting light? Are you radiating? Are you in fear? Fear is a perception. It's a thing we create. It's inside the body. It's got to go. The battle inside is our own. The battle outside is a transmission, a reflection of what's inside of us. We do not lack for anything, says the cat.
It's going to come up here <laughs> and play with us. Lack is a mentality. It's an energy we hold. It's our job to recognize it and work through it, clear the energy. It's just about energetically understanding everything, being so connected with everything energetically that you become, you will come back uh, to who you truly are again. Pure energy, pure brilliance, pure light, pure love. This is coming back. Coming back. This is what we do. We come back. We don't leave this anymore. We don't play in the old programs. We're absolutely aware of everything as it occurs. You connect again with the entire universe. You become the, ti the entire universe again. No separation. So, we have company. Hey. Hey, buddy. No separation. Separation is our own. It creates chaos. Our human mind creates chaos. If things are chaotic, you're separated. You're off in another time that does not exist. Get present. This moment right here. Focus your energy, your intention. Pick. Make a choice. What you gonna do? Presence is where everything exists. You wanna see? Hi. I have company. Let me see. Hey. Say hello. I got a tail. Say hello. Let's see if I can do this. Hi. Oh my goodness. Hi. We got company. He wants to be on camera. Say hi. if I can put the camera back. Oh my goodness, I guess I'm going to hold the camera right here. Hey. Okay. He's cute. Every moment, every moment, you have a choice. You get to choose. Let go of everything doesn't make you happy. Call forth everything you desire. It will come to you when you let go of all the other stuff. It will come to you when you start making choices to let go of all the chaos. But the reason for this video was to talk about the Sybil and the bipolar effect because um, don't judge yourself if you're having a rough time, if you're all over the place. All of yourselves are clearing and cleansing and working out old energy and programs that held you in a place of lack and um, in your human mind. As you work through all of those beliefs and those old programs, it will get better and easier and the imperfections will start to clear. These purity frequencies that are going all day, the diamond light code frequencies, the white pure light, the rainbow frequencies are activating the crystals inside of your body. It is causing everything to go haywire. And it's going to continue um, for those um, who are experiencing chaos. So you want to really get present. You want to come back. Come back to center. Get in your heart. Let go. Um, pay attention to where you're coming from in every moment. Um, because stubborn, pride, 
fight, all of these things uh, bring on suffering. You don't want that anymore. There's been enough of that. Um, you want to come back to what's pure. Purity is who we are at our core. Pure love. Pure light. The rest, human. And that does nothing but destroy realities. And we don't live there anymore. We haven't for a really long time. So. Hi. If you want to change the world, you'll change your world. And as you do, the world will change in response to you. As you do. When you shift to love, when you let go of the fight, the whole world changes. Everything changes. So, pay attention to yourself. And when you're having a rough day, realize it's a part of the process and that you're just clearing. There is no wrong on this journey. There is no, I did anything wrong. It doesn't exist. That's a human mindset. Uh, listen to what's going on inside of you. Challenge your beliefs. If you ask yourself why you believe it, you'll start to come that if it's not true, you don't. And you're holding on to something that you were told or acquired along the way. Um, if you're listening to your head, you're getting a reality uh, that is confusing. And when you listen to your heart, it gets very simple. There's no confusion here. So, I'm going to sign off and come back later and do some more videos for my course. And, but for now, just keep cute. Hi, how are you? Hi, buddy. Say hi. Hello guys, I love you, and I am utterly appreciative and grateful for everybody that's on this journey with us too. He's so cute. Hi, sweetheart. Keep honoring you. It is absolutely the most important thing you'll ever do. And as you do, you honor all others too. I love you. I will see you soon in the hello.